Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to add instant replay to your live streams and recordings in XSplit Broadcaster. Stay tuned. You may be wondering, why do you want to add a replay into a local recording? Well, I think it makes it more dynamic, especially if you're doing a recording and something funny happens. Uh, you can capture that moment of 10, 15, 20 seconds and replay it instantly in your recording without having to edit it later on. And it makes total sense in live streams too. Uh, if you're gaming and capturing that last shot for the Victor Royale in Fortnite, you can replay that. If you're winning a race in Mario Kart or something funny happens, or maybe you're doing sketching on a live stream and something funny happens when you're sketching something. Whatever the case may be, you can share it with your audience instantly and dynamically with instant replay in XSplit Broadcaster. All right, let's show you how to set up Replay in XSplit Broadcaster a few different ways. This is our game scene back here. We have our webcam as well, playing the classic bubble bubble game. Go down to add sources, go to general widgets and click on replay. Highlight replay and right click, bring up some of the options here. So we can connect to our local recording live streams, scheduled streams. For the sake of the tutorial, we'll click on local recording. We have a slider here. We can adjust the number of seconds for the replay from one second up to 30. So test out and see what works best for you. We also have a box for play on scene enter if you're changing the scenes for replays. That will automatically play your replay if you change scenes. And a volume slider. If you have the replay showing up on the same scene, make sure you keep the volume down or muted. You can also change some of the styling here. We'll do that in a little bit. All right, so we're gonna assign a hotkey to access our replay when we're recording or live streaming. We'll choose, uh, let's see. Control S today. Probably be the easiest, but you can choose whatever hotkey is available to you. That way when you select the hotkey, it goes right to the replay. We'll start our recording here. All right, it's now running. And we're set. Playing a little bit of bubble bobble for you. You gotta kill these enemies with these bubbles you blow out. And there we go, pretty easy. That was the first round, of course. We push Control S and there's a replay. Playing instantly. So it will actually replay the last footage that you've chosen. So that was the last 10 seconds that we've chose to replay. So again, you can choose it from one up to 30 seconds. So that was pretty easy. Another option you have is to shrink your replay screen down into a corner of your main screen. We'll do that by dragging it. Now we can also maybe make a border for it so it stands out. Otherwise it may blend into our main background. So we'll click on shape. We'll choose a bright color so it really sticks out. We'll choose red. And make the border two or three here. Give you a nice little thickness. Makes it look pretty good. You can add shadowing as well. Lots of choices here. You can also do masking if you want. So now when we do our replay, our shortcut is Control S. The replay will show up in the upper right. But you can choose wherever that is, of course, by dragging it with your mouse, dragging that source around your screen wherever you like. All right, so playing some more Bubble Bobble here. Not bad. And there's our replay. Again, showing the last 10 seconds here for the sake of your tutorial. But you have the option of up to 30 seconds once again. So kind of test things out and see what works best for you in whatever stream you're kind of doing, whether you're doing gaming, an interview, whether you're doing 
caricatures and sketching. Whatever your streamer content is, make it work for you. So that's two quick ways to use Replay. We'll show you a third way here. We'll actually remove the Replay source. We'll click on Remove. And we'll set the Replay up here on a separate scene. Click the plus. Right, we're changing over to scene four here for us. Maybe different for you. We'll rename it to Replay, if I can actually type it in right. There we go, Replay. And again, add source. General widgets, look for Replay. So now when we change scenes, Replay will actually start from there. So we'll make sure we have the local recording set for our tutorial here, and also play on scene enters is very, very important. And again, you can choose to have the volume playback with the sound playback in your replay. It's up to you. All right, let's do some more testing out here in the game. Find a good spot to do a replay of some playing here. Shooting some more bubbles out. Killing some more of the enemies. These last ones are kind of hard to get. They're kind of running around crazily here. <laughs> Going nuts. There we go. Oh, I died. No. Okay, we'll start over. We have one enemy left, it looks like. Oh my gosh, you jumped right over top of me. And then we'll change scenes here with our mouse to replay scene. And that loads our replay up instantly. And there's a replay from the last 10 seconds of play. So a really cool dynamic feature you can add into your live streams or local recordings. And we'll go back to our gameplay. So once the replay ends completely, then we'll choose to go back to our gameplay for the audience. You can also set this up in Stream Deck as well. We can go to Explit Scene, drag into Empty Tile, rename this Replay. We'll make sure we can choose the proper scene, so that's a replay scene we named earlier. So then we push Replay on Stream Deck, it will go to that scene and instantly play our replay. Really easy. Here we are playing New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe on the Switch. These are the timed levels, so this one here, we have to beat it in under so many seconds. I've updated the replay I think, to 20 seconds here. Oh, missed the flagpole. Last jump there was a bit late. And here's a replay. We'll push replay on the stream deck. And boom, it plays instantly. Really easy. So this is a great little feature you can add into your streams and recordings once again. And lots of options here as far as 1 to 30 seconds of gameplay to capture back and show again in an instant replay kind of format. And here it is. Go back to game. One more time for you. No cuts. Here's the full effect for your audience. This is what they'll see when you're doing your recording or stream. Pretty good jumps here so far. That last jump, I didn't jump enough time. I should have jumped there and I missed it. But here's what it looks like, looks like to the audience, and it's perfect. Instantaneous adding a replay to your stream or recording once again. It's a really great little plugin. Really easy to use. And there you go, a really simple solution to adding an instant replay to your live streams or recordings. I think this really makes it more fun for everybody watching your live stream, especially if something amazing or funny happens, you can instantly show that footage with no hassle, all implemented directly into Xplit Broadcaster. Let me know in the comments below if you actually use this feature or not. Make sure you guys hit the like button for the video as well and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray for The Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time.